Hello everyone, my name is Haven, and today I'm reacting to Outline in Color, Do Your Worst with Loveless. So, first thing I should say, I don't know who Outline in Color is, and I have no idea who Loveless is. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know if I'm going to get crucified or people are going to get excited to let me in on this world, I don't know. But needless to say, uh, how I found this, I think was through YouTube, I think it, it recommended me this, uh, this song. So... I think YouTube is throwing me a bone here on this band and asking me to give it a chance. So with that being said, we're going to jump right into it and react to Do Your Worst. With, I love how this is, look at that. They have the print, uh, yeah, the parentheses, is it the parentheses? Yeah, the parentheses around Do Your Worst here, but then they have it around Loveless right here. No consistency. All right, let's do this. Okay, okay, hold on. Whoa. <laughs> I was lost in my head there for a second. So listening to this, so far I'm not necessarily a fan, but, you know, that's just me. I'm not saying they're bad in any way. It's just, I'm not really feeling this song, I suppose. Maybe it's just not not my uh, cup of tea. But it, watching the music video and, like, listening to it took me back to, like, my high school days when I was, like, emo. And, um... Yeah, it just kind of brought me back there a little bit, just listening to this, which why I was kind of just stay, uh, sitting there watching this because I was kind of just reflecting on my past in a way. And I don't know. It was just very interesting, you know. So, you know, while it may not give me like a stimulation in my mind musically, um, overall, it does give me like a nostalgic feeling for some weird reason, which I suppose is a good thing, you know. So, let's keep going. Go round for round 
you know, I also had another thought. And it actually just happened maybe a few seconds ago watching this. I feel like this song would be good in like a Twilight type movie. I know that probably comes off as an insult. I don't mean anything by it, honestly. But like, you know, those teen romantic films type things where, but it's also kind of supernatural in some way, which is why I say Twilight. But I mean, you could probably think of anything else, you know, like, uh, what was that? What was that one movie where the, the guy was the dead? He was like, the whole world was a zombie, but you're like in the, the mind of one zombie because he still basically thought, I guess, thought consciously, but he couldn't really, I suppose control his body because of his zombie instincts i forgot what it's called that's what that's what i was kind of getting from this song it's not a bad song it's just like i said it's not for me you know like personally i'm just not a fan of it because i feel like to me personally and i'm not saying this like as a general statement but like to me personally uh it makes me kind of take kind of takes me like i said takes me back to about high school and i just don't really listen to songs like this anymore you know like while yeah it could be just i could listen to it just for the enjoyment but to me i feel like it's deep down i'm gonna feel some kind of other way and might not like it you know you know it's kind of like uh it's kind of like listening to my chemical romance because i feel a certain way when i listen to the old stuff it takes me back and i kind of think about the dark times and i'm like eh, maybe i don't need to be listening to mcr anymore but like i said that's just me so um what do you guys think you like the song you hate it let me know um if you guys have any requests like uh to uh songs for me to react to let me know and i'll definitely try to get to those as soon as possible and with that being said hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day drink plenty of water and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye